All right, here is the second version of my LED uh, variable intensity brake light. You can see here, this is just a modified um, 11 LED brake light. Uh, and basically I made a new circuit board for inside and wired it the way I wanted it to be wired. Uh, the first version I had, which you can also see on YouTube, was an analog system that uh, used resistors and capacitors as a means to filter and divide up the output of the uh, accelerometer um, to determine how many LEDs were on there. The problem I didn't like with that, or the problem I had with that was uh, it was real jittery. No matter how big of a capacitor I was putting in there, it still wouldn't filter out the jitter. And then it had to be tuned with a screwdriver which required you to go underneath the vehicle uh, and tune it manually like that and it just uh, was kind of a pain and uh, I really didn't like it so my second version here uses what's called an Arduini and then a custom circuit board I made uh, to go along with the Arduini uh, essentially what having a digital system hooked up to the accelerometer allows me to do is to filter out the jitter um, and kind of do a, a moving average of the input coming from the accelerometer. Uh, to start off with, another real cool feature I had is if you look up underneath here is where I have the box with the accelerometer and on the back of the box there's a little switch and when I push that switch the LED goes through this little light sequence and what it's doing is it's calibrating itself uh, to the vehicle and it's uh, resetting its max value to zero. Uh, and now, so what that does is, is essentially it, uh, if the box is mounted on any kind of angle or anything like that, it, it compensates for that angle uh, or the, the tilt of the vehicle uh, and it basically takes that out of the equation. Um, so once that's done, what happens is as you're driving, uh, it will go ahead and, and take data points from the accelerometer and I believe it's a moving average of 10 data points and I don't recall uh, how often it samples. Um, all right, I just reset the brake, and you can see there's just one light on. Um, essentially, what's going to happen is as she starts driving, the code's going to sit there and try and compare the current moving average to the max moving average. So right now, since we just reset the brakes, that max moving average is going to be zero. Um, as you can see, there it is. All the lights came on because that match move, moving average is zero. Now that it's done that, it's sitting there and it's comparing uh, and it's resetting and storing that new max moving average. So you can see there only one light came on and now it's learning the vehicle and the driving habits. Uh, so it's constantly doing that comparison. Is the, the moving average greater than the max moving average? If not, then it'll just light up the LEDs. If it is, then I'll reset that max moving average. Um, so she's going to continue to drive here and just kind of show you, give you an example. One of the things I did is I wanted to uh, compare, um, I, I, I basically had two ways of doing it. One way would be to uh, set the, just set a, a standard max moving average that would be on this, be the same on every vehicle. But the problem with that is if you have that and you put this system on a school bus versus a Porsche, uh, obviously the Porsche is going to light all the lights up a lot more than the school bus, where the school bus may only have one light light up. So I thought the better option would be to have it learn um, per each vehicle. And, uh, and that will give you a better sense of what that driver is feeling. Uh, if the driver is nervous in front of you, uh, you know, someone would be able to tell that, oh shoot, that driver, all those lights are on. That driver must be really, really scared. So, uh, you know, there's two ways of looking at it, and that's, that's kind of the approach I thought would be better as opposed to just having a fixed uh, max moving average that would be uh, the same for all vehicles. So, there it is. Uh, it works really well. You can see there's no jitter or anything like that. Um, I've been quite happy with the system. So, thanks for watching.